Beaver Town. Nah, it's not some sort of seedy lap dance bar in Soho. It's an up and coming brewery in North London. See me walking around. Beaver Town. Yes, it sounds like a, um, a seedy lap dance club in Soho, doesn't it? But no, this is a this is a brewery um, based out of North London, um, Tottenham Hale to be exact. And uh, they're producing some really really good beers. Apparently, I've never tried any of their beers before, so um, we're going in a bit blind here. Uh, apparently, they only they started up in 2011, and they were brewing a uh, beer out of a uh, a 50 litre rice pan and they've just gone from strength to strength and yeah um, it looks quite first initial thoughts of the can here I've got a, a Beaver Town Gamma Ray this is an American uh, pale ale and I've been warned that this is seriously seriously hoppy um, I've been warned you can smell the hops a mile away you know um, so we'll, we'll find out about that but with this can, you know, oh, look at this can, you know, be you know, it's got Beaver Town, Gamma Ray, this funky design that looks like something out of Jane Fonda's Barbarella. Um, if you've ever seen that movie, you know, um, it's certainly have, uh, cool, they've gone to town, it, it's, they've spent a lot of work on that, and, <laughs> you know, um, it's seriously uh, different, and it, a different way of advertising a beer, but hey, it's you know, um, let's see if it's as good as the can looks. You know, <laughs> the can one, you just don't want to open it, do you? You just want to put it on the shelf and uh, it's like a work of art, isn't it? <laughs> Tate Gallery, <laughs> put it up in the Tate Gallery. So, whoops, I'm going to get So, let's open this up. Oh. Oh yes! Oh Christ! This 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 has got some hoppiness to it. This is uh, oh, this is I can I can always tell when a beer is going to be a good beer just by the smell. Um, this is going to be a good one. Oh my word! This is just screaming. Oh, this is. Oh. This smells like being in the tropics. This sounds. Like, this smells like. Oh, smells like. Probably smells something similar if you worked in the Umbongo factory, you know, the orange juice with all the tropical fruits. It's, oh my word. I've not smelt anything like this before. And I've drunk some beers in my time. This is, whoa. Oh, this, this is so punchy. Oh, there is mango, grapefruit I can smell in there. Lychees, it's it's a seriously seriously um, punchy, full of flavour. Um, it's a five point four percent American pale ale, which you know I I think uh, the best pale ales, the American pale ales, are between your your five and your six percent, or, or the ones that you know I think are considered to be the best. Um, yeah, so and. I reckon the malts in here, they've, they've got, obviously got um, the Caragold, the Cara malts, and Best Pale malts, which are obviously, yes, um, hops, I reckon there's the Mosaic, Citra, Calypso, Amarillo, you can smell, sorry, well, you smell the Amarillo and Citra, you know they're in there just by the citrusy taste, Bravo and Columbus hops, so a lot of those are American hops, um, so yeah, it's it's on the nose and on the looks and the can. <laughs> it's looking quite good, isn't it? So come on, let's have a sip and see how good this stuff it really is. Oh. 
Oh my word. It's like drinking an alcoholic on Bungo. <laughs> it's the adult version of a view we ever had it when he was a kid. On Bongo, I don't know if I still make it actually. On Bongo, the juice drink needs to have a little cartoon in the jungle, didn't they? Um, this is just tastes like it tastes like the, the, the grown up alcoholic version of On Bongo, you know. <laughs> it's a shame they don't do it in a little. Uh, the little uh, cardboard cartons, isn't it? <laughs> you could send your kids to school with that, couldn't you? Or <laughs> be pissed by 3 pm, wouldn't they? Very, very, very good. Hey, Beaver Town, <laughs> you've got a good one here. Yeah? Oh, I like this. This is really, really good. Um, yeah, yeah. Thumbs up, Beaver Town. Um, This is I'm not personally a big American IPA and IPA sort of drink, a pale ale drinker. Um sort of like a summer barbecue, you know, I prefer um a nice crisp sort of Hells or Pilsner, um that type of thing. But I'll tell you what, um I think this this could uh, be weaning its way into the sort of uh, the barbecue uh, summer barbecue drinks list because yeah with this punchiness of fr with the fruit flavours and that yeah you could sit here you could sit there and drink this on a hot summer's day no problem and it would go blinding on a barbecue very very impressed Beaver Town Brewery. Go out, buy it, try it. Honest to God, this is really good gear. Um, I can't, I can't praise this enough. Um, it's from, from 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 the design of the can to the actual taste of the beer. It's it's spot on. It's brilliant. It's um, really really spot on. Well done, Beaver Town. Really impressed. Um, and like I always say, beer is the answer. But I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night.